Rescue mission, day 11. Made some good progress. Now let's see what else we can do. Oh hey, more area. Because apparently we needed that, I guess. Once again, the rescue command post was starting to feel a bit cramped. So we're, we've expanded into a new area. I don't know if we needed that much new area, but okay. Colin and all the castaways joined forces and worked hard to make this happen. Here's some raw materials that we dug up while clearing the new space. I'm sure you'll f find a use for it. I mean, I appreciate the materials, but also... It's only 20 for that? That's crazy. Uh, anyway, let's go check out a few things. Thank you for your help. I feel like an empty place inside me is being filled up. 20 materials for finding future creatures. Ah, that was so fascinating. You must let me know when you find men uh, any more new snarly snag snagglers out there. 75 is our next goal. Interesting. That won't be hard to reach, probably. Also, I think I'm going to stop Ochi from doing that. Because Ochi's bad at getting the right Pikmin for the right thing. That's better. Just want to get the most out of it. I really don't need to do this, but I, I, I am, so... Get it. Is it yellow? Yes, yellow. Good. That's all I need to know. There really has a lot of space here. There's a person there. I think it's probably just because of the different types of people that there are, that these areas are expanding. Hello. I can't see you. Hi, I'm Sai. I like to consider myself an expert in habitat ecology. When I heard an unknown planet had been found, my first thought was, unknown planet means unknown creatures. Who could resist an opportunity like that? Not me, that's for sure. I applied to join the research task force as soon as I could. This probably seems random, but I have a request for the two of you. I'm currently researching the connection between Pikmin and the whistle they respond to. I have loads of questions. Like how many Pikmin can you lead at one at, at, at a time? And will the whistle still work on all your Pikmin if your squad increases? And that's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what I want to know. How about we just start bout with you telling me when you, your squad gets bigger and we'll go from there. What? No way! You already lead that many Pikmin? Wow! Collect two Flalic Bulbs. Okay. Get 30 materials. Four Flalic Bulbs, get 30 materials. I'm simply astonished at your abilities. Try taking on even more. Six Bulbs. Okay. That means there's like two per area. That's interesting. That seems like a reasonable goal to go for. Hi, I'm Mika. You're probably wondering what a high school teacher is doing here. I came to this planet to, su to supervise a student field trip, but it's not going so well. Thank you for rescu you're rescuing me. I'm sure you're busy, but do you think you could research or s search for the students that came here with me? The Elon Aleon Academy Planetary Science Club only has three students, Shiba, Kish, and Kaya. Ow. If they aren't found, I don't know how I could ever face their parents. Please, if there's any way you could help. Zero out of three. Not a good sign. I think that's everyone that wanted us to talk to them at the moment. Uh, so let's check out our upgrade options. Because I think we have two... No, we have three pup points. Rush is tempting. Heal 
is also possibly a good idea. Just in case I mess things up. Rush, maybe. Or I could max out these two. Or well, one of these and something else. Doggy paddle, maybe? I think I'll actually go with heal at this point. So let's go with that. Still need a fair bit more points to upgrade the rest of this. <laughs> you put everything you had into that printing. Okay. Well, I think it's time for a night expedition. Well, hello there. New blood. It'll be nice to have a fresh subject around here. <laughs> Since we'll be working together, can you can uh, just call me Yoni. No sense wasting valuable research time. I need you to go out on some night expeditions for me. I want to harvest extracts from the lum Lumic coals. I don't know. Limic gnolls. That I can use as medicinal ingredients. It's only possible at night. I could go on. But you should just see it for yourself. Let me know when you're ready for a nightmare adventure. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Sunspeckled Terrace. That's it at the moment. Okay. This is going to be concerning. Danger one fire. Okay. Is there anything more exciting than heading out into the dark of night? <laughs> Starting from the only base available to us. Ancient archers. Sunset's not quite here yet, so you can breathe easy for a little bit. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, we have no Pikmin here with us. That's okay. There it is, new blood. That's the... Let me... No. When dark breaks, or dawn breaks, it will release an extract I'll use to make that medicine. But if the luminol is destroyed, we won't harvest any extract at all. All we need to do is protect that... The lumin... <laughs> Luminol. Until morning. Simple, right? <laughs> oh, hello. Well, well now. What's this? These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. Look at that! It propagated more. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, New Blood? Glow Pikmin. Yep, those little guys sure look a lot... Uh, look like a new variety of Pikmin to me. They're kind of glowing, so... Glow Pikmin? Seems like an appropriate name. Hehehe, <laughs> they're rather fond of you now. New, <laughs> front of you, new blood. That's perfect. You and these little guys can protect the luminol together. That star shaped fragment from earlier. Let's call it a glow pellet. Try carrying those to the luminol. 
to see what we can propagate. Or to see if we can propagate more Glow Pikmin. I leave it to you then. Okay. And we have to protect this from stuff. I don't know how to feel about that. Also, why is there a marker here? When did I place that? Or is that just... That's just a thing. Okay. I can't do anything about that. Also, I hear bad things. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. Yeah, this mark is just here to indicate our base, I think. We're gonna need a lot of things, probably. It's about that time, you blood. Oh boy. See how the creatures become more aggressive at night? They're drawn here by that irresistible glow. Watch out now. They'll come for the luminol. So don't let them break it. Ah, they're heading this way. For now, collect glow pellets and propagate, propagate more glow pikmin to build up your, your protective forces. The creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. Oh no. Okay, it's up to you and Ochi. O Ochi and Blue Toad. Good luck. Oh boy. We can actually see them, I guess. Kind of. Oh, we shouldn't have built this bridge. Oh no. Oh no. Building the bridge was good, but also a mistake in the long run, I guess. It's fine, we have time. Let's get some more glow Pikmin. They seem to come back to us immediately, which is nice. Come on. Good enough. Here they come. I don't know if they can kill our glow Pikmin, which might be good for us. Also, that just disappeared. Okay. So don't, don't need to worry about that, I guess. I guess there's going to be different missions for different points of the levels. Also, can I just, like, throw them out to defend? Track creatures using a night radar. Was that that really just kill it? I wouldn't have thought that would be possible. But no, they can, so I probably want to command them on my own. Just need to keep an eye on things. I can always use Ochi if I need to. I'm not sure if it's a great idea to go exploring. It doesn't look like we can go get any treasures, but we might better go into caves like this. Not that we'd want to, I don't think. I don't think we can... Maybe we can't, because we can't get... Um, oh, there's a lot. <coughs> I'm guessing the red flashing ones are the ones that are going to come attack us. Uh, I guess we can't go into the caves because we can't get Pikmin. So, probably not a great plan. Also, these are flowered straight away, which is also very nice. Some of them aren't, though, which is interesting. Also, that got way too close. I need to be a lot more careful. Get him! This is why I got Ochi to heal. Heal power good. Also, the night is going by fairly quickly. We can actually see the thing at the top of the screen going by. How do I tell Ochi to heal? I don't know. He might just do it on his own. If I tell him to stay on his own. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. It's fine. Everything's fine. There are so many. We have the last part of the night left though. We're almost good. Might need to upgrade Ochi's skills a little bit more. Oh boy, hello. We could probably get a lot more Pikmin if we went and got more stuff. 
But I don't know if that's really what we want to do. Big one. Big one. Is there any other ones we need to worry about? I don't think so. Also, we have eight seconds left. So we should be good. So why are you missing? All of you. There we go. That's weird. My targeting ability was not doing anything for me. Oh, that actually dropped some stuff for us as well. That's interesting. I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. I don't think I'll survive a night in the future. Yeah, hey, here it comes. Pay attention, you blood. Oh. Oh. Can I touch it? Can I drink it? Can I lick it? Can I drink it? Can I jump into it face first? That is a condensed luminol e extract. It's very high in degrative. Degradative en enzymes. I believe we should call it glow sap. It's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather it with care, n new blood. Look, the glow pigment have come to see you off. Do they f want to follow you back to the rescue command post? My, my, what's this? Glow Pikmin turned into seeds. <laughs> I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. Well, that was alright for our first night. It could have gone a lot worse for us. Could have gone a little bit better because things work di slightly differently. But it's a, it was a learning experience, and that was probably a good first night to learn from. Also, it's morning. It's so different. It sounds different too. That's cool. Creatures defeated 25 out of 25. I didn't realize I was being tracked. What a fruitful harvest. From one glow sap, I can make exactly one cure. <laughs> Leaflings waiting cure. Glow seeds up to six. We haven't used any. Apparently that's a thing we can use. So, how was your first venture out onto this planet at night? Um, it was fun, I guess. Yeah, huh? <laughs> good, good. What a surprise, though. You met a whole new kind of Pikmin. Before you rescued me, I'd never seen a glow Pikmin myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, new blood. Mm. You two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their luminols, after all. Though, I'm not sure you've got this night exhibition thing fully under control just yet. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the luminols for you to retrieve glow sap from until you are. <laughs> oh, Ahem, I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew. Rescue mission, day 12. The nights definitely go by a lot faster than the days. Oh, so we have five leaflings? I didn't realize we had so many. Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain.
professional Splunker. Dash, home planet, fl- fl- Flukey, Flukey. He's known for saying, you can always, <laughs> you can always find me in the pits. He will take a leap into any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. My work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for the and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Where'd he go? He gone. Nope, stop it. Nope, not gonna do it. Okay, fine. Uh, where is the new person? Where are new person? Where are they? They left. I can't protect them if they leave. Are they on this side of anything? They were wearing green, so I would have thought... Over this way. Ish. Like, actually, I have no idea. They're gone. <laughs> Oh, there they are. Jumping into any hole, right, of course. That makes sense. Wow! I've been uh, drawn to caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into danger like this in a long time. My life's quite precious to me. Thanks for helping. After all, I can only poke around in caves if I'm alive, right? Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Dash. I've explored all over the universe. Thanks to my family's deep pockets. The captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got uh, stranded again, so I can't go explore go explore any caves. Oh hey, I just had a, the best idea. Starting right now, I'll, I'm going to recognize you as my top, well, only pupil. I need you to explore the caves around this planet on my behalf. You'll have have to. Th make it through them all the way to the exits. I see you've already made your way through several caves. I would expect no less from my star pupil. Clear, explore five caves to get 30 materials. 10 caves to get 30 materials. We're doing a good job already, apparently. So many caves. Your attitude, the way you take on these caves so enthusiastically, is like when I first discovered the underground world. Need another five to get another reward. Okay. We're making a decent amount of materials from this. Uh, these also aren't blooming like I thought they would. They really should be blooming, but I guess they're not going to. Guess it's not worth leaving them in the ground then. I don't know. Maybe they are. But not right now. So I'm just gonna harvest what I can. I'm just gonna put more in the ground though, so. Of course, it turned red at that one moment. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade some more stuff. I forgot to actually check, so. Kihi! I've created a new item! Well, I developed a prototype with the materials I had on hand. Also, tough stuff. Increases our health. Or oh, tough stuff plus. Oh my goodness. So much stuff. Also, lightning shock item available. Use the electrifying power of science to electrocute all creatures in the area. Uh, for a use for use in a pinch. But watch the timing. Yeah, that seems dangerous, but it could be good in several scenarios. I should definitely upgrade something here. Homesick signal is very tempting. It's only 80, so let's get that. And then I think we'll get the Scorch Guard. We also have a lot of materials to actually get other stuff as well, possibly. We can get one more set of things. I'm thinking anti-electrifier, honestly, so let's do that. 
Uh, but with that, I think we're going to go into another night expedition. It just seems like an alright idea. <clears throat> I always have one pop drive to use. That's actually quite interesting that it goes up like that. I'll hold off for the moment though. Hey, there you are. Aren't you supposed to be out collecting glow sap? Wow, so rude. New landing site on the Sun Speckled Terrace. One star difficulty. Let's go. From the rugged scaffold. You also have six glow seeds. For whatever that does. <clears throat> I'm assuming it allows us to get more glow pigment if we need. Just an emergency or something. Also, it's also a good thing we have the the light headlamp thing. Yeah, so there's something else I've figured out about glow the glow pigment. As you can see, Glow Pikmin emit a very powerful light. Interesting. You can use X, hold, you can hold down X to gather your pick, uh, Glow Pikmin until they meld together to form one large glowing ball. Release them all at once, and it creates a luminous and literally stunning effect, which I call a Glow Mob. One flash of that overpowering light, and you will witness all kinds of creatures covering uh, cowering under its dazzling glow. <laughs> That's probably good. I did wonder about that with other Pikmin, but these actually can be used. Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. First, select a glow seed from your pack. When you throw it, it will instantly create a glow Pikmin. Of course, they only work at night or in caves. So don't forget that, eh. <laughs> so that might be good to save for caves. We can't keep them in the day, but on the surface, but we can use them in caves, so that's pretty good. But anyway, let's get started. Need to get as many things as possible. That didn't work at all. For some reason. It also might be good to throw them at small like a few of them at a pile so they just collect it over time like that because that way we're just staying consistent also what is with that is that something we want to destroy oh whoa I listed up maybe that's like an extra wall of defense do we have to activate or something I don't know anyway Aha! Glow parts can be carried here too. From the looks of it, this could be a juvenile form of the alumin aluminal. If that's the case, then it's possible this could be connected to the aluminal uh, below ground. Maybe it can serve as an uh, inter interior drop point when transferring glow pellets from far away. So we don't have to go all the way back. It'll be faster for collecting stuff. Additionally, it seems it, like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to help keep the luminol safe. It's small, but it shines quite brightly. Why don't we call it a trick knoll? Ah, I don't know. Good thinking. Try use, using it as a decoy and interium drop point. Okay. And monsters started coming, so we need to be careful now. This big one. I just want to get more stuff first. Think, don't take your eyes off the luminol. Probably a good plan. Also, I feel like they aren't doing what I wanted them to do. Stun! Okay, good. They're still collecting stuff, which is also good for me. It's nice the way that they gather around. Come on, go! 
need to keep an eye on my surroundings. There could be monsters anywhere. And everywhere. Well, that at the moment seems fine, so that's interesting. So why is there one there? There seems to be a lack of enemies at the moment. But I'm sure that's going to change, although I probably what it is is if you return to the same area, they might just increase the difficulty and just have more stuff to chase after you. Oh, so that's probably another Pikmin collecting from the other part that was over here. Oh, there they go. Please. Get him! Just gonna take my time. Maybe. No. No, no! Come on, charge. Faster. Get him! That nearly ended badly for me. In fact, it kinda did. That's fine, we can get more. There's also another big one fighting Ochi. I should have been over there. Oh, Ochi, 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 come on. Go to base. Oh, Ochi, no! I should have taken my eyes off the base. Oh, there's also a thing in the base. No one's being attacked. Oh, it's that one. I see. This is fine, it's just almost dead. We're also getting close to the end of the day, which is also good for us. So that's something. Hang on, is that all the enemies? I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't sure, even sure you'd survive the night. I guess I did it. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Interesting. Now we can make the cure. Well, that seemed to go well. Expedition results day 12. All six uh, monsters, def creatures de defeated. Got one more cure. Leafling awaiting cure. Okay. Got 11 more glow seeds. That seems pretty good. So I guess the more glow pick when we get, the more glow seeds we get at the end of the night. By morning. Good work. Eh, hey, looks like you're getting the hang of these night expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you you venture out, you can go wherever you like to collect glow sap. The search for a pilot starts in earnest now too. Rescue as many leaflings as you can. Let's cure them all. So about that, let's stop and think for a hot minute here, okay? It's possible Bernard ha hasn't turned into a leafling yet. What do you mean? I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Yes, that leafling with the dog was chasing me. And yes, that's when I realized Bernard had disappeared, but that's all. What I'm saying is, I never actually saw him turn into a leafling or anything. Oh, interesting. Then, uh, what should we look? At the very least, if we can, if we catch that leafling, then we might be able to get a lead on Bernard's whereabouts. I see. Okay. The search for that leafling is your top priority, Blue Toad. Understood. Alright, that concludes this emergency meeting. Let's get to it. 